Good day. Welcome to King William Rose Everything. Today we're going to take a look at this solar LED light, uh, garden light. Uh, this guy is probably maybe a year old, year and a half old. So it's been outside all summer, been through the winter, and now it's summer too. No longer works. So I figure we can tear it down, see what's inside it, and maybe we can figure out why, why it failed, maybe repair it. Hard to say until we take it apart, but we're going to take it apart and see what's inside it. These are really simple. Um, Mr. Piece comes off, and we have two screws. Let's see, get Mr. Screwdriver and take out screw number one. I like these lights. Uh, you know, this one here, you figure this is a dollar light. So, is it worth repairing? Well, you know, it has a rechargeable battery in it. That's probably good. It has a little LED. Let's see. there we go so you can see mr. solar panel a little rechargeable battery a nickel metal hydride battery so there's you know some value the small circuit board and you can kind of see on the circuit board we have signs of corrosion I can see corrosion corrosion a lot of rust and you know it looks like it's sealed on the top inside the only water you can get in is through the two little leads which has lots of um, silicone on it but on the bottom you can see all the openings um, there's a big opening here here so water that could get inside it can get inside it but uh, so let's take this off and see let's see if we get Mr. Battery out oh look at that There's Mr. Battery, and I see massive corrosion signs here. And that little contact pad, oh, that little contact pad, very corroded. So I think what we'll do is we'll give this a little cleaning. You know, maybe it's just not making contact with the battery. It's working fine, it's just uh, it got rusty. So let's take a little cleaning, and we'll back in a second. Okay, we're back. Where's Mr. Screws? I see two screws. I see three screws. Got too many screws now. Okay, little screw. So what I did, I took off the um, circuit board from the little base. And it doesn't look too bad. It's not really clear. There was some rust on, on the little pins here, but this looks like it was good, and I did notice just by playing around that it doesn't seem to make good contact. Even though Mr. Battery was a little corroded. But, um, so when I put it together, nothing. There we go. When I kind of wiggle it around in different spots, or if I take the end of it, bam. So we definitely have some corrosion on Mr. Spring here, and you can see Mr. Spring is really rusty. I think that's our main problem. So I get a good spot. I can get it to light up. Maybe. It was doing it. There we go. So you can kind of see we have a little rusty spring. So I'm going to give that spring a really good cleaning. Because like I said, if I take it on the corner, bam. So we know she's working. Just Mr. Spring's all, all rusty. So let's clean her up really good. And we'll try it one more time. Um, I thought maybe this would be more corroded. It's got some watermarks on the bottom, but for the most part, the top, uh, even the pins don't look too bad. They actually did a kind of a nice job on the uh, the heat shrink, the LED uh, legs, so that's kind of cool, but everything else is kind of a... Uh, I thought there'd be more to it than this, because it seems like there should be some more electronics. Maybe it's behind the, s the solar, solar panel, but uh, there's not much here. So, anyway, let me give her a good cleaning. Be right back. Okay, so what I got, 400, 400 grit sandpaper, and some dielectric grease, bam, it's all greasy, so my plan is, we'll sand this sucker, and then we'll protect it, so she doesn't corrode, otherwise it'll just get all rusty right away. So what we're going to do, give Mr. Spring a good cleaning, 
Oh yeah, she was rusty. Nice and shiny. And we're going to give Mr. Battery Pads a good clean because these are the nasty ones. Very nasty. You just need to get the little pad clean. The rest of it's not too worried about. Mr. Pad's clean. Mr. Spring's clean. So let's give this sucker a test. Mr. Battery, Mr. Negative, and Mr. Positive. We should be good to go. Look at that. There's Mr. Light. Let's put it so you can see it. But, uh, Look at that, good as new. Probably be a little brighter uh, once the battery charges up a little bit. But, so we just saved ourselves a dollar and saved uh, the landfill um, a nickel metal hydride battery and a solar panel and plastic. So, it's a twofer, everybody wins. I get my solar light back and the landfill doesn't get my trash. So, we're gonna put this back together and let's put the little grease on it first. Come here, Mr. Grease. Let's see. Kind of thick. But hopefully this will keep her from getting corroded again. At least that's the plan, you know. This stuff is really greasy. This grease is very greasy. It's gritty too. I don't think it's supposed to be gritty. But hey, that's alright. That should get her. Get that side, that side. I think what we're going to do is maybe give this guy a little, a little taste of Mr. Paper. Because she's kind of corroded. I think I should have got a little thicker sandpaper. That's okay. Give him a little more grease. Make sure she still works before she goes back in Mr. Case. I need a third hand. And there you go. Beautiful. Alrighty then. So, let's see. Do we got a positive and negative on here? Let's see. Hard to see. Mr. Positive is aside. That's you. I mean, this guy's a little rusty still, but the pad is what I was worried about. But, uh, uh oh. I hear barking dogs. And Mr. Battery. Let's make sure she still works. Look at that. Good as new. And Mr. Screw. This little circuit board here had one screw on it. We're gonna put that back together the best we can. This kind of makes me happy, you know. You look at so much stuff that gets thrown in the trash all the time, especially electronic stuff. Uh, a lot of times you'll find um, everything look, looks good. It could be just a micro fuse that blew. You know, one of those little surface mount microfuses, you can't even see it there. A lot of times laptops will have that, and people will just throw the laptop out. And you got like a, a 10 cent part that basically crippled your very expensive laptop. And what they'll do is most likely, um, oops, I I put it in right, replace the whole motherboard because of the little microfuse. But you know, crap like this. You know, I've seen a lot of times where this whole circuit board is ruined and you just can't fix that. But, in this case, let's see, looks like I got it all wound it up. There we go. I'm going to put this fellow on, like so. I think I still got a wind in it, but that's okay. I'm still happy. Mr. Hole. But, um, you know, throwing this stuff out 
you know, I know this is only like a dollar part, but still, it's my dollar. You don't want to be throwing things out there good. You can kind of see how much time I spent on it. I mean, what did I use? Sandpaper. Um, let's see, where's Mr. Hole at? I gotta figure out how it goes back together. Thinking like got it backwards. So, like so. There. Maybe. There. Like there's something resisting it. I'm going to do, give a little twirl. Okay, this shouldn't be this hard. There we go. Mr. Screw one. But yeah, I've, I've always liked LED lights. And these actually work really well. They don't, uh, I don't think they, these last the whole night. I think when they're fresh and new. And this one's, like I said, probably a year, two years old, but I can't remember when it died. So it may, the battery, I mean, the, the fact that the battery still is well charged, uh, that's a good sign. I've had another one of these that fail. I've had circuit boards that failed on these. And I've taken the batteries out and charged them up and they're, they're good batteries. Uh, I mean, they're, they're not a, a high-end battery, but, you know, it's my battery. Okay. Look at that. Good as old. Put it back in, Mr. Thing. And look at that. I got my uh, LED light back. Dim. But like I said, it's probably because it's not, oh, like it's just too bright for it to, to come on. There. So she works fine. Look at that. Back in action. Anyway, thought we'd see if we can repair this, and we did. So that's kind of cool. And saved a dollar. Have a great day.